Believe me when I say, I know this is getting out of hand, um, but you know, we love Bath and Body Works. What else can you do? And I think this summer 2022 semi-annual sale has been just hitting and hitting every single time I go to my little store. It's not like I have 20 stores to shop around at. I just have my little store and every time I go in, whether it's three, four, five times a week, they seem to have something new on the 75% off that is just too good of a deal to pass up. So my name is Lizzie and yes, I have another semi-annual sale haul. It is the start of week three and they marked stuff down to more 75% off, especially candles. And that is my favorite when you can find these three wick candles. And I apologize to those who have not been able to find any in their stores. I just, I don't know how it's so different and various among the stores across uh, the country here. Um, maybe they just have more high area stores that a lot of people just buy them up. Um, but I, I really don't know how they distribute them. But my little store, has a lot of candles and I was so happy to see three wicks marked down. So yeah, we're going to um, do this. It's going to be a long video because I just want to, you know, unload these hauls before I bring the next one in. Um, so I went into my store on Sunday and then I went again Monday after work because I knew they had more marked down 75% off. And I really do think you guys should pay attention to like some of the knowledgeable Instagram accounts because this is how I knew these were 75% off even though my store did not have them on the 75% off tables. They were still at the 1095 uh, price um, signs and because I knew some of these other people were saying they rang up 75% off that give, gave me the confidence to go ahead and ask them to just check the price and my sales associates are so nice um, and they went ahead and did so and they rang up 75% off. So yeah, just because um, if I hadn't known that on Instagram, I wouldn't have bothered. I would have probably waited and possibly missed out. So first, let me just show you two candles that have arrived from my online order that I placed about 10 days ago um, when the holiday candles went 75% off. Um, that large order is still on its way and FedEx tracking says they cannot locate the tracking number, so I have no idea where it is or if it's lost or if I'm even going to get it, which kind of sucks, but I'm keeping my hopes high. Um, but yes, they shipped a couple of the candles separate individually, and I got two apple garlands. I just love that packaging. I think it's so adorable. It's Gala Apple Snow Covered Mistletoe Cedarwood. Two of them. And something about... The missing wick syndrome now um i had one candle from goose creek that had two wicks missing and this one is missing one and uh yeah i contacted goose creek they said oh sometimes with the transit and the temperatures the wax will shift and it's just buried in the wax and i thought they would just ship me a replacement but they sent me a gift card and i was like and they didn't even explain it at first. I just got a random gift card. I was like, is this for my candle? I don't understand. Can't you just send me a replacement? They're like, oh, well, we refunded you the candle, which was $8.99, and shipping, which is usually $7.99, an additional, like, $5. So I was like, oh, okay. Like, I wish you would have just sent me a replacement. But anyway, I guess it's just for them to get me to shop there again um and place a larger order than just one candle so yeah uh so then i got this candle and it's also missing a wick um unfortunately this was no longer in stock because you know they fly off uh the website so quickly um i asked them if i could just replace it with a different candle they said no um but she did offer me a 20% off promotion coupon to use within a year. So I took that and I'm happy because, yeah, I mean, this was only like $5 and change. And like I said, I got another one that was fine. So, so that's okay. I don't have a wax warmer or melt candles down. Maybe I'll burn it with two wicks or maybe I'll just like give it away to somebody that has a wax warmer. I'm not sure. Okay. So then... Sunday, 75% off. I think, like, everything I got was 75% off pretty much. Um, yeah, I do have another online order I'll show you, but that will be at the end of the video. Um, but, yeah, so 
Like I said, I was waiting to find tester candles because my store just didn't put any out, it seems. Um, so Sunday, you know how they marked down a bunch of single wicks to 75% off. And so I went in and they had a bunch of tester candles. So I'm like, finally, you're bringing out the tester candles. So I got Midsummer Dream, which is a really nice find because, you know, they never made this into a candle. It's just the wallflower. Um, so it's always nice to find these candles. Another Midsummer Dream. Another Midsummer Dream. Oh, and one more Midsummer Dream. So four of those. There was a couple more, but they were like missing the lids and stuff. So I just left those. And then I did find more sweet peas. So that was exciting because I regretted not getting more the first day when I saw them. Two three sweet peas. So I think whenever you could find um, scents that were not a three wick or no longer being made as a three wick to go ahead and pick them up as the tester candles because they are kind of more rare um, if you want to say that. So those were the single wicks. Oh and here's a couple more that were buried. Um, <laughs> a Hello Beautiful. So two of these actually. So yeah like I said look for those. And yeah without following Instagram I think it was Dr. Shopaholic or Target at Home, I'm not sure um, exactly, but they had said that this collection was 75% off with a nice, um, pretty pressed floral leaves uh, packaging and the pretty lid. And these were all on the 1095 table. So I was like, can you price check them? Are they ringing up 75? And she's like, oh yeah, those are. So I'm like, let me grab some more. Uh, so eucalyptus rain, which is aromatic eucalyptus, spearmint leaves, fresh spring rain. Nice green wax. I just love um, the scent. I'm, I've never burned one before. I might have some in my collection, but I never like paid attention to it. And it's just a nice fresh mm, green, grassy note. The eucalyptus isn't that overpowering because usually that could be like super strong. But no, that one is just really nice. So I got two of those. And then also from the collection, they had Sunwashed Citrus and this nice peach wax. And this is Sorrento Lemon Citron Agave Nectar. And to me, it just smells like one of the other lemon citrus fresh uh, scents. I like it. So these are not bad to have. So I got two of those. And then they had Endless Weekend. I love the blue. Um, they also had a fresh cut lilacs, but it wasn't at my store, unfortunately. I would have loved to get one of those again. And White Gardenia, and I don't, I'm not really a fan of that scent. Um, so this is Fresh Summer Mandarin Sunkissed Magnolia Blue Coconut Water. And Blue Wax, and it's just a nice, pretty scent floral. Um, so then... Other three wicks that were also 75% off, but they were on the 1095 table, were this collection, and I really like the eucalyptus mint one. Dan smelled it. He also liked it. Fresh eucalyptus, sweet spearmint, lemon peel, clary sage. This one, the eucalyptus is a little bit more prominent, but you do get that nice mint note at the spearmint um, scent, so I do enjoy that. I got two of those. And then I also got two Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruits in this packaging. I picked one of these up at Candle Day. And then when I got home, I noticed like there was a gash in the packaging. So I went and exchanged it for something else later. Um, but I do really like this packaging. I like the kind of nice pale watercolor ombre effect with the like grass leaves. It just kind of reminds me of the cape. So this is Tropical Passion Fruit Radiant Kiwi Juicy Pineapple. And I'm not a huge tropical fruit scent candle fan, but I do really like this scent. So I got two of those. So yeah, I got a bunch of candles, 75% off. I also picked up a few pocket bags. They were not 75% off, but I just can't help myself when I see pocket bags. I decided to get this men's one, bourbon. Um, everybody loves this scent, and I'm not usually one to get the men's um, scents, but I figured why not. So I got three of those for my collection. And then I just happened to pick up a couple more Firecracker Pops and a couple more Summer Melodies. So that was just the pocket bags I threw in there. 
um, this haul was uh, bringing the candles down to six dollars and thirty seven cents. Uh, the single wicks were about three sixty two, three eighty seven, and then just the pocket backs. So I saved two hundred seventy six dollars and twenty nine cents. And now I went into store Monday right before they closed and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm not going to find anything. I, I know I'm just crazy. Um, everything's going to be picked over. I placed an order online that morning, not for that many, just, you know, a nice little order to get me over the $40 mark because they offered a $10 off coupon. So that is also what's been great about this sale. I don't remember them doing this last winter SAS or last year for summer giving us, you know, additional 20% off coupons, this additional $10 off, being able to use it multiple times. Like, I think their sales are low. I don't know. Um, they just have a lot of stock they want to get rid of. So that $10 off I used Monday morning, placed a few candles um, that were 75% off online and went to my store and my store still had plenty, um, but there were a couple cents that were not there. So I'm like, I'm glad I place an order online. Before I start with the candles, I did get colognes because they had a table full of colognes that were 75% off. So I picked up a fresh water, which is Italian bergamot mountain spring water oak moss. So they had a few of these. They had a few canyon. Um, it blends black pepper, desert sand, and crisp vetiver. They had a crap ton of clear horizon. Um, Fresh Lavender, Zesty Citrus, and Pacific Cedarwood. And this was the only one of stone. And this is Alpine Water, Cool Lavender, and Sandalwood. So got some colognes, 75% off. I picked up two more single wicks, um, Blue Ocean Waves. I don't believe that ever came out in a candle as well. And this one smells pretty good. Yeah, it's just a nice aquatic scent, not too cologne or anything at all. I think it's a nice fresh watery scent. So I got two of those, Blue Ocean Waves. And then I did pick up two soaps. Um, so they did mark down some soaps, but my stores didn't have like that great of a variety. They also were starting to put out fall soaps. Um, so the soaps that they had were the, I think it was the Creamy Luxe in Japanese Cherry Blossom and Black Cherry Malot. And then um, for foaming, they had a ton of the BU, which is Bubbly Rosé from the Valentine's packaging. And this was the only pink lilac and vanilla, which I love this scent. And they also had a couple of the watermelon lemonades as well, but I just picked up this one. So then the candles, I picked up a Sweet Berry Peony. I really do like this scent. I think it's just a nice um, floral fruity note. Peony Petal, Sweet Strawberries, Juicy Pomegranate. Yeah, so I actually got two of those. And then this one from Holiday, Cranberry Peach. I just love that pink plaid packaging. Sweet Peaches, Tart Cranberry, Sugared Musk. And I'm not usually a huge peach fan, but I think it smells nice in this. Not too sour or anything. And at first, I wasn't a fan of this when I ordered it online when it first released, but I smelled it again in store and I kind of liked it. So spring plum and blackberries. And I love that purple wax. This is juicy market plum, tart mixed berries, natural vanilla bean. Yeah, this one smells good. The ones I got from online smelled plasticky to me, but I don't know. Noses change. Who knows? Then I did pick up another endless weekend because I thought I got two on Sunday, but I didn't. And then, like I said, follow those Instagram pages because these were not on the 75% off table, but somebody hauled them and I knew that they should be ringing up 75, so I asked. And they were, if so I'm glad I checked because I do like this packaging a lot. It's like just a simple ombre packaging. So another kiwi passion fruit in the green and the vanilla and peach tea in this pale pink, which is peach tea, sweet vanilla creme, fresh oat milk. I really do like this peach scent. Mm, it just smells like a creamy peach drink. And I did get, well, first, this was not 75% off, but it was new. Um, the Rainbow Cereal Pocket Bags. How amazing is that? I saw these on Instagram and I was like, I have to find those. So I got 10 of those. Yeah, I know. 
And then I went ham on wallflowers because I was waiting for wallflowers to also drop 75% off under $2. That's when, yeah, I'll go ahead and buy a bunch. So yeah, I just went crazy and don't even know how many I bought. So I got market peach and strawberry pound cake, the blends. I just wanted to have these blend ones because I don't know if they're coming back. Um, I got the champagne toast and fresh orange. And these were not showing 75% off online. They were only like still the $3. I did pick up ring kissed petals. Oh, this one. I had to get a bunch of these. Cinnamon Spice Vanilla and Paris Cafe. So I got one, two, three, four. I thought I got more than that. Four of those. Um, and then the Rosewater Ivy Mahogany Teakwood. I'm not usually a Mahogany Teakwood fan, but with the blend of the rose, it just makes it nice and soft and floral. Um, so two of those. And then, oh, I did end up getting another Market Peach and Strawberry Pound Cake and another Champagne Toast and Fresh Orange. So those were the wallflowers I picked up and the colognes and the single wicks and the three wicks. And the sales associate was super nice and let me use the $10, $10 off 40 twice. Um, so she just like rang them up separately to make them 40 and then gave me the 10 off. So one of the transactions... Uh, oh yeah, with the ten dollars off. Yeah, so the three wigs got brought down to four ninety five, four seventy six, five fifteen. Um, yeah, that's crazy. So I saved one hundred forty four dollars and sixty six cents for those three wigs. And then the other one. So yeah, the colognes were eight seventy four, eight seventy five. The single wig blue ocean waves was three forty three. Um. And the soaps were a dollar eighty eight, a dollar sixty five. Um, the pocket, ba I'm sorry, the wallflowers were a dollar sixty six, a dollar sixty five. Yeah, just the pocket bags were a dollar forty one, dollar forty two after the ten dollars off. Um, but yeah, I saved two hundred twenty nine dollars and twenty two cents for that transaction. Part of me really wants to go back, like, and pick up some more stuff that I missed. Um, but I really shouldn't. I'll, I'll wait till the weekend. We'll see. Um, I really, really am. Um, but anyway, yeah. So then I had an online order that arrived yesterday. I don't know when I placed this order. Um, it says June 18th. Oh, I know why I placed this order. So I placed this order because I had two email accounts for my rewards because last year they had the program where you max out a certain number and you cannot earn any more points or rewards until a year has been up and I shopped there so much that I would usually max it out six seven months into the year and have three or four months left where I'm not earning anything and I'm like well that's stupid because I shop there so much I really you know do think I should be able to get these rewards and I think now with the new reward system. There is no cap on it. So that's, that's good to know. So I had two emails and one of the emails I hadn't been using for a while. So they had sent me a promo 20% off plus free shipping over $25, um, code to use online. It was just a code for online. I missed that like until less than 24 hours before it was going to expire. They gave me like two or three days to use it. And I totally like didn't check my email. Um, so I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, because I just placed a large order that morning online. That was the holiday candles. And I saw I had, they sent it to me twice. They gave me two emails with two different codes to the same email for 20% off. So I was like, oh my gosh, I could have used that this morning. So I called customer service. They were, this lady was super nice. I'm like, hey, I placed a large order this morning. I forgot to use my 20% off code. Do you think I could still get the price adjustment and use the code? No questions asked. She's like, here's the 20% off difference. This is what you're going to get refunded back to your card. Shipping and uh, taxes will also be included. And I'm like, okay, thank you so much. Do you need the code? She's like, no, go ahead and use it if you want. I'm like, oh my gosh. Now you're just asking me to place an order. Um, so I did place another order use that code, got free shipping. And I gave the second code I had to my friend Susie. Um, I'm just like here, 
all you need is $25 to get free shipping with this code and 20% off. So she placed an order for some stuff. So yeah, long story short, they've been very generous with their codes and I've never gotten that before. Um, I don't think so. I got some more candles, but these were not like the 75% off. These were, I think, I think these were 11.95. Um, so I got a cactus blossom. I don't really like the other scents. They're just kind of old news repackagings, but I don't have a cactus blossom, um, from this year really. So I got this one and the pretty lid and the light pink wax. So this is Desert Cactus Flower Petals, Fresh Sparkling Citrus, Warm Vanilla Coconut. I picked up another Toasted Pineapple Marshmallow. So my store did not have any more of these. And when I went in for the 75% off, they did not have the Blueberry Pie from the Murano collection, they're calling it. Um, they did not have the Banana Bunt Cake from the Color Run collection. They just like were having like no stock in the sense that I would have wanted. So I'm glad I ordered online as well. Um, Toasted Pineapple Marshmallow, we all know. I picked up another pink petal tea cake because I just my store was running low on those as well. I picked up pineapple mango and fresh balsam blend. This is my second one, I think. And I decided to get another sugared lemonade. I just love this packaging with that yellow wax and wanted that scent. Got more. Uh, ice lemon pound cake. And this was the only holiday candle still lingering online for 75% off Christmas cider. That cute little squirrel. Um, so that was still 75% off. And then I did get some body care. Um, got pocket bags of the white t-shirt. These were like $4 plus the 20%. And Dan really likes this scent as well. I picked up another pink pineapple sunrise fine fragrance mist. I think this was like $3.95 or something. Um... And I picked up two Pure Wonder soaps that were three twenty-five, maybe. Um, so I just wanted to get a couple more of these for my collection. And then last, I used two rewards um, because these aren't some are semi annual sale um, products yet. So this is Summer Melody in the Exfoliating Scrub and Summer Melody in the Moisturizing Body Wash. I don't think I had this yet, but I do, do have one of these and I wanted another one with the reward. My rewards are stacking up, like I said, so why not use a couple on these body care items? And that was my online order. So yeah, the three wicks, um, aside from the Christmas cider, were $9.56. The Christmas cider was $5.10. The Pocket Bags, $3.20. Pink Pineapple Sunrise, $3.16 and then the two free gifts. So thank you guys for staying with me during this huge haul. I know it's insane. I'm not apologizing. I'm not. This is what I love. I This makes me happy. Um, you could say they're just material things, which they are, but I love my collection. I love these products. So like Kayla Michelle said, sue me. <laughs> um, but thank you guys. Please subscribe if you love these hauls and types of videos, and I will see you guys in my next haul, um, whenever the online order arrives or whenever I do go back to the store, which should be not until this weekend. Seriously. Okay. See you soon. Bye.